Rigel is the brightest star in the constellation of Orion, and it's the seventh brightest star in the night sky. Its apparent magnitude varies slightly, but not by much, and it's possible to see it in light polluted skies. Rigel is an enormous star with a radius of over 17 times that of our own sun. But this star also happens to be a multi-star system consisting of one supergiant star, that's Rigel A, and then three other blue main sequence stars. In terms of its mass, it's 17 times more massive than our own sun and 120,000 times more luminous. Its extraordinary brightness is owing to its gigantic size and powerful energy production. Rigel is a blue supergiant and its surface temperature reaches that of 10,000 degrees Kelvin. This high temperature creates that characteristic white blue color. Rigel has reached an advanced stage in its stellar evolution. Massive stars like Rigel burn through their nuclear fuel much more quickly than smaller stars like our sun. This quick consumption of fuel leads to a very short life in the order of millions of years. Rigel has already burned through its primary fuel sources such as hydrogen and helium in the core and has begun fusing heavier elements. This fusion process generates a tremendous amount of energy and it sustains the star's luminosity and prevents it from collapsing under its own gravity, but that won't last forever. High mass stars such as Rigel undergo a more explosive end when they exhaust their nuclear fuel. When nuclear fusion ceases in the core, gravity causes the core to collapse very rapidly. This triggers a supernova explosion where the outer layers of the star are violently expelled into space and it produces an extremely bright burst of radiation that can even outshine entire galaxies. The core of the star may end up collapsing further, either forming into a neutron star or it may form into a black hole. Rigel is part of a stellar system that contains at least four components. Rigel A is the largest star and the one that is closest to becoming a supernova. The secondary star, called Rigel B, is a spectroscopic binary star with star BA and BB. Both are blue main sequence stars that are approximately three times more massive than our sun. These two stars cannot be resolved through an optical telescope. They are spectroscopic binary stars, which means they can only be detected by analyzing a star's light. Rigel C orbits the Rigel B binaries, forming a close triple star system. Since these three stars are close together, it is difficult to understand each star's individual properties. Rigel A is by far the most dominant star of the system in terms of size. However, it is farther away from its companions at a distance of 2200 astronomical units. It is estimated that Rigel A and the triple Rigel BC system has an orbital period of 24,000 years. The best way to find Rigel is to know and recognize Orion. Orion is one of the most easiest constellations to identify in the night sky. And it's very recognizable whether you're either in the Northern Hemisphere or Southern Hemisphere. And depending on where you do live in the globe, Orion can look different. Here is the Southern Hemisphere view, while this is the Northern Hemisphere view. So as I go through this, I want you to just see if you can recognize where Orion is. And then I'll point it out and hopefully you can just start to recognize where Rigel is. And Orion is very helpful when you're trying to find many other constellations that surround it, such as Canis Major. This bright star here is Sirius. I do have a video about that constellation, so I'll leave the link in the description below for you to go find it. But that's where Rigel is. Notice it's the brightest in Orion and it has that bluish white color to it. And again, just make sure you're starting to recognize what Orion looks like and if you can find Rigel. And of course, my pictures are mostly from the Northern Hemisphere. That's where I live. So that's where my collection of photos is coming from. Um, here again, can you find where Rigel is in each different photo? So hopefully this repetition gets you or gives you some practice on how to find where Rigel is in the night sky. As I was learning about Rigel, I came across this celestial object called IC 
2118, or it's nicknamed the Witch Head Nebula. And this is a reflection nebula that's estimated to be between 900 to 1,000 light years away. And here you can see where it is located on the map. It's not in the constellation of Orion, but right next to it. Here you can see how the shape resembles the witch. Here's the forehead, here's the eye socket, and the crooked type nose. Here is her mouth and then the pointed chin. Another online tool you can use to explore the Rigel system is called Stellarium. This is a free online planetarium and you can click on different areas of the sky to learn more about it. You can also zoom into areas of interest. So let's take a look at Rigel. I want to zoom in enough to see the Witch Head Nebula. This nebula is a stellar nursery where baby stars are being born. The light from Rigel is illuminating this collection of gas and dust. Here is the forehead, here is the eyes, the pointed nose, the mouth, and chin. You can zoom in quite far, so let's see what we can resolve in the Rigel system. It looks like the closest we can get is to see Rigel A, which is the supergiant, and then the Rigel B system, which is a pair of spectroscopic binary stars. You can click up at the center and type in any constellation, star, planet, or object you wish to see and where it is located in the night sky. Let's zoom out here and get a better picture of Orion. You can see how Orion is highlighted, showing what it represents as a star pattern. So here is Rigel. It represents the foot of the hunter, and he is kneeling in this depiction. And this is what Orion would look like if you live in the Southern Hemisphere. I use this program to learn about stars and areas of the sky I cannot see because of my location in the Northern Hemisphere. I will leave the link for Stellarium in the description below. You can also download it to your mobile device. I often use it to confirm what I am looking at is actually what I think I'm looking at. And if there's one thing I know about stargazing, it's that there is always something new to learn and observe. Thank you so much for watching this video about Rigel. I hope you're able to find this in the night sky. And let me know in the comments below, are you able to find it? Do you have any stories that go along with this star from your part of the world? And I always try to encourage you to try to get away from the light pollution from the city and seek out dark skies. So much more becomes visible to the eye when you're able to escape light pollution. So thank you so much for watching and always keep looking up.